Hey, this is the Pinholio. It's a self-developing pinhole camera for shooting paper, either direct positives or paper negatives. It has this back that opens. Um, you put a piece of paper in here and then the flange on the inside of the camera holds that paper down, forms a border. You can take your picture with the internal shutter. And when you're done taking your picture, you can take the lens or pinhole off and put on the light baffle lid. Then when you open the internal shutter, you can pour liquid in to develop your picture on the spot. I think these are pretty fun. I like to print four or five of them and take them with me um, and just develop the pictures as I go along and hand them to people. Pretty fun day. Not a very serious camera should not be your EDC setup. Anyway, in this video, we're gonna take a look at um, how to assemble them once you print them. They're available for download now at cameradactyl.com. Uh, enjoy. These are the parts as they come off the printer. Check cameradactyl.com for slicing instructions with the download file. Um, once you have them all printed out, you need to trim the parts. So here comes a time-lapse. There's some support in each one of these holes. You don't have to print support in there. I sometimes do. That needs to be popped out. And then there's support here uh, in the slit for the dark slide, and that needs to be popped out. Um, I'm going to use a chisel uh, to just kind of work it out and then break it off on the inside um, like this and uh, maybe slide it out so there's room for the dark slide to slide in here. So here we go. Next, we're going to shift the support out of the rear or cone. Okay, now we can go back to ASMR style. I like to print these pieces really hot so they fuse together. It helps it be watertight, but that also means sometimes you're gonna get a little bit of stringing. This is a purely functional and not aesthetic piece, so print it hot. All right, so where this uh, support has been popped out of this little funnel cone here, um, that's where the dark slide will fit. These parts fit together as such, this guy goes in here. It has a long tail and a short one. Uh, the long one goes up towards this uh, slot in like that. It just gets pressed into place. We'll screw that in later, but first we want to make sure that the dark slide will still fit in. Okay, now that's in that pocket. So when that dark slides shut, the uh, film chamber is dark. Okay, this is the light baffle pour spout. Um, it prints with a bunch of the support that you gotta pop off. Be careful when you're using knives in your shop. <laughs> Be careful when you're using chisels to scrape your parts. Let's put some screws in the face. These are M3 by 10 or 12 millimeter screws. And I'm holding this cone here in the back with my fingers as I screw from the front plate. Wow, wow. Yeah, I, I write my own music for the show. <laughs> okay, so in here, you're gonna take one real short screw, M3 by six or eight millimeters and put it in the tip of this hole here so that the dark slide can't come out. And you don't want it to come through at all. You want the face of the bolt to be flush 
with the front of the dark slide. So I'm gonna back this out just a little bit and trim it flush. Well done, Ethan. So now you have the dark slide that comes up and goes down, up and down. Cool. All right, now we're at the point where we're gonna make a pinhole for this guy. I like to use this uh, pinhole retaining clip as a outline. Okay, a little dot in the middle here. I like to drill these to be 0 0.2 millimeters with a PCB drill bit. Um, I usually like to drill a pinhole on a scrap of leather, something soft. Works really nicely. Just hold down with my left index finger and with my right index and thumb and just working this around very gently. It's really easy to snap a bit. But if you treat them with respect, a $1 drill bit will drill maybe 10 pinholes. And of course, as the drill bits get larger, you break them much less frequently. But I think a 0 0.2 millimeter PCB micro drill is what you're looking for on Amazon for this guy. It results in something like an F230 aperture for the pinholio. Okay, so then when I drill through it, I wanna hold it up to the light and look through, make sure that the hole is nice and round. You can use a loop if you can't see that with your naked eye. I wanna make sure that um, get any gunk out. It looks like I got some leather bits in here. I'm gonna clean those out and make sure that the front and back of the hole is nice and clean. So I'll run the bit in both ways. There we go, nice and round. And this should be kind of snug. And I like it when it is nice and snug like this and I use the butt end of a chisel to just push it on in. Use a screwdriver to assist. Chisel butt has seen better days. Gentle but firm. <laughs> Push it with ogre strength. There you go. All right, so now that we've built this camera, um, I hope you will build a camera on your own and maybe rewind through this video if you need any pointers. And um, yeah, have a nice day. I love you. Goodbye.